Hi, today I'm reviewing the Too Faced Life's a Festival uh, lipstick. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So Too Faced recently released their Life's a Festival collection, which includes a couple new lipsticks, uh, eyeshadow, highlighters, bronzers, a lot of fun stuff that I also have to get my hands on. Um, Ulta re recently released a couple of the lipsticks uh, a little bit ahead of time, so I had a chance to pick up a couple of them, and I picked up the Mermaid Tears in the uh, lipstick, and then I picked up the Unicorn Tears in the lip topper. I have the other Unicorn Tears, so I wanted to kind of combine those, so I'll definitely swatch all of these for you as well. Uh, but let me start out with the Mermaid Tears. And... Uh, so I'll kind of go through my criteria and give you some swatches of these. Uh, this is the full size, which sells for $22. And my first criteria is the packaging, and I definitely gave it a thumb up there. It's nicely packaged in a uh, sleek gold tube. Definitely gave it a thumb up there. Alcohol, I gave it a thumb up there. There's no alcohol in this lipstick. Uh, fragrance, they definitely have included um, a fragrance or a flavor is what they call them in lipsticks. Uh, but... In addition to that, they also have included Citral, Geronol, Limoline, and Linolu, all of which are fragrant components that are definitely uh, skin sensitizers. So this lipstick definitely would have been much better without those included. Uh, so I gave it a thumb down there. Um, uh, number four is the manufacturing location, and this lipstick is made in Canada, so no issues there. Uh, ease of use is number five, and this definitely applies easy, it's nice. Uh, let me give you a little swatch here. And I'm actually wearing the Mermaid Tears right now. I really actually quite like the color. But here's a little swatch of it. But it kind of starts out almost a greenish color and quickly transforms into like a burgundy gold color. It's kind of like a burgundy with a little bit of gold flex in it. Um, so it applies quite easily and the color transforms almost immediately. Uh, if you can see in the tube, it looks almost greenish. But once you apply it, it kind of transforms color so it's pretty easy to use uh, so I gave it a thumb up there the number six is antioxidants or pigmentation and it doesn't contain any antioxidants it definitely includes some moisturizing uh, components in there which is good and the color is uh, decently pigmented um, so I gave it a thumb up there uh, the next one is number seven which is animal testing and I gave it a thumb up there Too Faced does not test on animals However, they are owned by Estee Lauder, which is kind of known for a lot of their animal testing, but Too Faced currently is cruelty-free. Um, performance, I gave it a thumb down. Um, I like how this applies. I like how it looks. Uh, it's kind of a shine finish lipstick, so it transfers quite a bit. But for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this formula of these lipsticks from Too Faced, well, they always start and apply pretty evenly for me. I don't know if it's some of their fragrance components, but uh, after a couple hours of wear, my lips always feel cracked, kind of dry, cracked, and flaking. So I'm not sure if it's those fragrance components, but it's been every color of these lipsticks that I've had um, do the exact same thing, and that's true of the Mermaid Tears or the Unicorn Tears. Um, starts out fine. My lips feel soft and shiny and... But uh, definitely within a couple hours, they start to feel kind of peeling and dry and cracked. And I, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure it's some of those fragrance components that they've included in there. Um, so I gave it a thumb down for that. But just because I have that reaction to it doesn't mean you will either. Um, everything with makeup and cosmetics is very individual. So um, one way to kind of combat that if you do have those issues is to use a lip balm underneath. Um, I like to use a lip balm and then a primer and then the lipstick and that helps me get a little bit more wear out of it. Um, and then price, I gave it a thumb up. Uh, $22 for a more prestigious brand of cosmetics isn't ridiculous for lipstick. There's uh, lipsticks going for much more, so $70, $40. Um, so it wasn't ridiculous. 
And then number 10 is the it factor, and I gave it a thumb up there. This definitely has the it factor to me. It got me to buy it and be very excited about it. Um, and I love mermaids and unicorns and everything nice, so gave it a thumb up there. Um, but this will probably, I would assume, sell out. And if you shop for Too Faced at all, um, Ulta almost for years was always sold out of the unicorn tiers. So I kind of have a feeling the same thing's going to happen with the Mermaid Tears in the Life's a Festival collection. So I gave it a thumb up there. So overall for the Mermaid Tears, uh, that got a eight of a eight out of ten, which is very good. Uh, that's uh, one thumb, uh, two thumbs up. So uh, pretty good. Definitely worth checking out. Um, so then let me go on to the Unicorn Tears, and the new one is the Unicorn Tears Lip Topper. Uh, Currently out the Unicorn Tears in the uh, lipstick formula and the Melted Latex are have already been out there. And the Unicorn Tears Lip Topper is the new one. So let me go over those and then I'll give you swatches of all of them uh, so you can kind of compare and see if you need to add the topper to your collection. So... The number one is packaging, and I gave it a thumb up there. Uh, this is the full size, by the way, and it sells for $19. And I gave it a thumb up for packaging. The packaging is pretty simple, nice, beautiful, love the blue. And it's got a nice doe foot applicator, which makes applying it pretty easy. So definitely gave it a thumb up there. Uh, number two is alcohol, and there is no alcohol in this product at all, so it got a thumb up there. Um, Fragrance, I gave it a thumb up. Um, it contains the fragrance or flavor component, but it isn't overwhelming and it dissipates quite quickly and there isn't any other fragrance components in there. So um, it isn't too much of an issue for most people. Um, then number four is the manufacturing location. This is manufactured in the US, so no issues there. Uh, number fifth is the ease of use, and it, apply, it applies quickly and evenly with the doe foot applicator. And then let me give you a swatch of this. And this would be something you can use definitely alone. Uh, you can layer this on top of other lipsticks. You can layer it on top of the other Unicorn Tears lipstick. Or if you just want a light wash of color, you can definitely use it alone. Uh, but it gives you a nice look. Um, when it's applied to lips, it kind of fades. It doesn't look overly blue, so there's not a lot of issue there. But uh, definitely nice to apply on top of other lipsticks or if you have a matte lipstick and you kind of want to give it some shine or maybe a little bit of more color, it's pretty easy to apply over that. Um, and then uh, number six is antioxidants and pigmentation. Uh, I give it a thumb up there. It's pigmented for a lipstick topper. Um, you know, a lipstick topper, you don't expect to be overly pigmented, but it adds a nice bit of shine and a little bit of uh, kind of duochromatic flex to it. Uh, so I give it a thumb up there. Uh, number seven is animal testing. And uh, Too Faced is currently cruelty-free, but they are owned by Estee Lauder, who tests on animals. So uh, the future of that is kind of unknown, but as of now, they're all cruelty-free. Uh, number eight is performance and um, definitely a nice shiny top lip topper. Uh, definitely transfers because it's a shine finish, but overall it performs. You definitely want to reapply it uh, if, if you're looking for more pigmentation, but it, it does transfer just because of the formula. And I also want to give you a swatch of the uh, Unicorn Tears Melted Latex, so you have that to compare. Um, but... Overall performance is pretty good for a lip topper. Uh, price, I gave it a thumb up there. Uh, it's $19, which isn't outrageous, uh, especially for a more prestige brand of cosmetics, I guess if you call it that. Um, and then number 10, uh, the It Factor. I gave it a thumb up for the It Factor. I love I love anything unicorns, mermaids, uh, rainbows, butterflies, all that good stuff. Um, but Definitely a very fun product, and I'm just trying to give you swatches of the other Unicorn Tears so you can kind of compare it to see if you need to add it to your collection or not. Uh, so the very first, the first, uh, or the top color here is the Mermaid Tears. And then this is the Unicorn Tears Lip Topper. And then down here is the Unicorn Tears Melted Latex. 
And then uh, at the very bottom is the first Unicorn Tears in the lipstick formula. So you can kind of compare it and see if you need to add it to your collection. And then uh, let me add the Unicorn Tears lipstick topper to the initial or the very first lipstick to see. It adds a little bit of color there and a little bit of shine, but not a ton of transforming. But you can definitely add it to other lipsticks too, but very beautiful. Love it. Uh, definitely an original color that they kind of created on their own and started a kind of a unicorn trend. So, but it's all very beautiful and uh, definitely worth checking out in my opinion. So um, the Unicorn Tears Lipstick cop Topper got a 10 out of a 10, which is a two thumbs up for me. Uh, definitely something worth checking out and adding to your collection. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys. So do you guys own any of these? Are you thinking of picking them up? Um, if you already own them, what are your thoughts? And uh, what are your thoughts on the Life's a Festival collection? So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come out with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, this is Sarah from No BS Beauty, and I'm proud to offer you one of my first products. And it is a stainless steel makeup palette, and I've been using ones like these for quite a while, and it makes it a lot easier to mix kind of custom foundation shades, custom serums, uh, custom lip colors. Um, it just, you need something like this in your uh, makeup routine to make things a lot easier. And uh, all the profits from it will go to help the channel, which I'm independent and I purchase all the products with my own money. Um, so definitely all of the profits will go so I can continue to bring you good reviews. Um, but, you know, things I like to use are retinol. Retinol is definitely a good thing to use, um, but sometimes some of them can be a little too strong. So sometimes I like to mix them with other serums. So I'll use this to kind of custom make my uh, retinol at night so it's a little bit less irritating when you mix it in with something else or another thing you can do is mix in a vitamin C uh, some of these can be a little oily or greasy so sometimes it's nice to be able to mix it in with another uh, serum so I like to use the Clinique one and I'll mix this in just a little bit because otherwise sometimes it can be a little too oily and I'll mix it in and in the morning I'll apply it all over my face before sunscreen. Um, and another good vitamin C serum I like is the Derma Doctor one but um, sometimes using the dropper with that can be a little messy so sometimes I just like to mix just a little bit in with another serum. I love the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Serum, definitely a holy grail of mine. And I like to mix that in with it as well. Or sometimes before I go to bed, uh, if I've got something else going on the next day, I like to mix in a little bit of tanner, self-tanner. But sometimes if you use use it alone, it can get a little too orange or a little too dark. So sometimes mixing that in with another serum makes it um, definitely a lot better and a lot more moisturizing for your skin as well. So um, definitely something that you can use in your uh, serums or your kind of custom make your own uh, skincare routine by using that and mixing up all these products. So uh, definitely something worth considering there. And I also like to use it to mix in some of my custom foundations. So uh, let me show you that too. Uh, another thing I've been using this palette for is mixing and kind of customizing my own foundation. Uh, kind of you can almost create a specific color if you have certain foundations that don't mesh well with your uh, skin tone or even your skin texture. You can almost create your own custom foundation. Um, one foundation I love is the Bare Minim Minerals Bare Pro. Uh, however, sometimes I can find it to be a little too drying and almost kind of giving you more of a matte finish. So sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of the Josie Mara and Argan Moonstone drops with it uh, and then use it. And it kind of helps kind of lessen the color and kind of give it a little bit more of a glowy look. Um, another thing I like to use is mixing in sometimes with uh, oil with a foundation. And sometimes it gives you more of a uh, dewy look. So sometimes I'll mix that in with the Dr. Jart. And it helps give you a little bit more of a glow to it. 
So sometimes mix in just a little bit in. Um, and you definitely want to be careful with what you're mixing just to make sure that the ingredients are compatible because certain types of foundations don't work well with certain types of other ingredients, but uh, something to consider definitely. But you can almost create your own custom look. I love this, um, but sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of a glow to it. So I'll mix in some of my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator with it. Um, so you can definitely do that. Uh, also, Cover FX makes a great uh, they're custom cover drops, but you can use these to alter the color of any foundation. So this is great to mix that with. Um, just give it a couple drops there. And then mix that in with another foundation to make it either lighter or darker. Um, the Ordinary Serum Foundation is great, but I found it difficult to get the exact color. So sometimes mixing the other colors works well. Um, Cover Effects also has these new glitter drops, so sometimes it's nice to be able to use this to mix in with either a foundation or just to put it on this, and then you can use a, a brush to either dip it in and apply it as eyeshadow or dip it in and apply it on to lips as kind of a lipstick cover. So there's definitely some great options and uh, definitely love some of Cover FX's custom enhancer drops, but you can use this to mix it in with almost any different type of foundation and add a little bit of color here and there. Um, but definitely using this and if you use a sponge or a beauty blender, you can get that damp and then just use this to dip it in and apply it. It makes it a heck of a lot easier than uh, than trying to do it in your hand or I don't know where else you would even maybe the lid of another product but this definitely makes all of that a heck of a lot easier so it's definitely something worth picking up and all of the profits from the sales of this palette will go to support my independent reviews uh, I purchase all the products with myself just so I can give you an honest opinion as opposed to somebody that gets the products for free to review um, I personally like to purchase them so I can give you my completely objective review without having to feel like I owe a company anything because they gave me something free. So um, all the profits will go to help support those reviews.